Now, let's have the second example. The given is 1 over x less than 1 over 4 minus x. Your objective to solve this problem is to inequate to 0. The first step is to use subtraction property of inequality. So, 1 over x minus 1 over 4 minus x less than 1 over 4 minus x minus 1 over 4 minus x. Now, let's have the simplification or simplify the following. 1 over x minus 1 over 4 minus x less than 1 over 4 minus x minus 1 over 4 minus x is equal to 0. Now, the question is, can we subtract 1 over x minus 1 over 4 minus x? We can. Because they have different denominators or they are dissimilar fractions. To find out, let's find or get the LCD. The new LCD of this given problem is x times the quantity of 4 minus x. Then, x times the quantity of 4 minus x divided by x is 4 minus x. Then, times 1. So, 4 minus x. Then, copy the operation which is minus x times the quantity of 4 minus x divided by 4 minus x is x. Then times 1 is x less than 0. Then combine like terms. 4 minus x minus x is equal to 4 minus 2x all over x times the quantity of 4 minus x less than 0. The question is, is it the final answer? Okay, yes. That is the final answer of this given. Now, the computed rational inequality is 4 minus 2x all over x times the quantity of 4 minus x less than 0. Let's proceed in finding the critical values by equating the numerator and denominator to 0. Notice that the numerator is 4 minus 2x. We need to equate to 0. Then the denominator, x alone, also we need to equate to 0. Then 4 minus x, we need to equate to 0. Then solve for x values. In the numerator, we use addition property of equality. It will become 4 minus 2x plus 2x is equal to 0 plus 2x. Then combine like terms. 4 minus 2x plus 2x is equal to positive 4. Is equal to 0 plus 2x is equal to 2x. Then, applying the division property of equality or divide both sides by 2. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. Is equal to 2x divided by 2 is x. By symmetric property, it will become x is equal to 2. We have now the first x. Then the denominator, x alone, therefore the final answer is x is equal to 0. Or that is the final answer. Okay, next. 4 minus x is equal to 0. We use 
addition property of equality. 4 minus x plus x is equal to 0 plus x. Then simplify. 4 minus x plus x is equal to positive 4. Is equal to 0 plus x is equal to x. By symmetric property, x is equal to 4. Now, we have the x values, which are positive 2, 0, and positive 4. The purpose of the computed x values is to check which among them will be part of the solution set. Now, let's use a number line. The location of 0 is at the origin and 2 and 4 are located on the right side of the origin because 2 and 4 are positive numbers. Let's check the numbers less than 0 or x is less than 0 or this portion. Next is 0. Next is the numbers between 0 and 2 or 0 less than x less than 2. Next is positive 2. Next is the numbers between positive 2 and positive 4. Or 2 less than x less than 4. Next is positive 4. Last but not the least, the numbers greater than 4 or x greater than 4. So, these are the intervals. Now, let's take the first row by getting the numerator from the final answer, which is 4 minus 2x. Then, the second row is the denominator, which is x times the quantity of 4 minus x. Then, the third row is the whole part of the fraction from the final answer, which is 4 minus 2x all over x times the quantity of 4 minus x. Then, the last row will be the remarks. Now, let's proceed in finding the critical values of the inequality in order to check which among them will be part of the solution set. Now, let's start with x is less than 0. Just pick any number less than 0. Let's try negative 1. To evaluate 4 minus 2x, just substitute negative 1. So, 4 minus 2x, then substitute negative 1. 4 minus 2 times negative 1, therefore the answer is positive 6. Now, just copy only the sign of the answer. So, the sign of the answer is positive so, it will become positive. Then, proceed to the denominator, which is x times the quantity of 4 minus x. Simply substitute negative 1. Negative 1 times the quantity of 4 minus negative 1. So, the answer is negative 5. So, get the sign of the answer that will be negative. Since the sign of the numerator is positive and the denominator is negative, therefore, the sign is negative. Why? Because positive divided by negative will be negative. 
Now, let's proceed to zero. In this case, there's no interval. Therefore, we automatically use zero. Okay, let's evaluate again. 4 minus 2x, substitute zero. 4 minus 2 times zero. So, the answer is positive 4. Therefore, the sign is positive. Okay, proceed to the denominator. x times the quantity of 4 minus x, then 0 times the quantity of 4 minus 0. Therefore, the answer is 0. Then, positive divided by 0, the answer is undefined. Now, let's proceed to x is greater than 0 but less than 2. Let's try positive 1. Okay, now let's solve 4 minus 2x. Then 4 minus 2, substitute positive 1. Therefore, the answer is positive 2. Then take the sign that is positive. Okay, solve x times the quantity of 4 minus x. Then substitute positive 1. 1 times the quantity of 4 minus 1. The answer is positive 3. So the sign is positive. Then positive divided by positive is positive. Let's proceed to positive 2. Same case with number 0. There's no interval. Automatically, we use positive 2. Okay, let's solve. 4 minus 2x. Then 4 minus 2, then substitute positive 2. Therefore, the answer is 0. Okay, next. x times the quantity of 4 minus x, then substitute positive 2, times the quantity of 4 minus 2. So, therefore, the answer is positive 4. Then, 0 divided by positive, it will become 0. Let's proceed to x is greater than 2, but less than 4. Let's try positive 3. Okay, now let's solve 4 minus 2x. Then, 4 minus 2, then substitute positive 3. Therefore, the answer is negative 2. Then, get the sign. This, uh, that is negative 2. Okay, next. X times the quantity of 4 minus X. Then, substitute positive 3 times 4 minus 3. So, the answer is positive 3. And, get the sign, which is positive. Then, negative divided by positive is negative. Then, proceed to positive 4. There's no interval, so automatically, we use positive 4. Okay, let's solve. 4 minus 2x. Then, 4 minus 2, then substitute positive 4. So, the answer is negative 4. So, the sign is negative. Okay, next. x times the quantity of 4 minus x. Then, substitute positive 4 times 4 minus 4. So, the answer is 0. So, negative divided by 0, that is undefined. Okay, last but not the least, x greater than 4. Let's try positive 5. Okay, now let's solve 4 minus 2x. Then 4 minus 2, then substitute positive 5. So the answer is negative 6. Then get the sign that is negative. Okay, next. x times the quantity of 4 minus x. Then substitute positive 5 times 4 minus 5. So the answer is negative 5. Get the sign that is negative. Then negative divided by negative is 
capacity. For the remarks, right through if the sign of the quotient will satisfy the computed rational inequality. Negative numbers less than zero. Do you think that negative numbers less than zero is correct? Yes. So therefore, the remarks will be true. Next, undefined less than zero. That is false. Next, positive numbers less than zero. That is false. Zero less than zero. That is false. Negative numbers less than zero. That is true. Undefined less than zero. That is false. Then last, positive numbers less than zero. That is false. So these are the remarks. If the remarks are true, the portion are included in the graph. Negative numbers less than zero are included because it is true. Number zero is excluded because it is false. Numbers between zero and two are excluded because it is false. Positive two is excluded because it is false. Numbers between positive two and positive four is included because it is true. Positive four is excluded because it is false. Numbers greater than four are excluded because it is false. Now, let's find the interval notation. Let's start from left to right. Negative infinite or negative infinite uh, numbers comma zero. Now, we use round bracket because the representation of the graph are excluded. Next. Positive 2, comma, 4. We use also round bracket because the representation of the graph are excluded. Now, since they are on the same number line, therefore, we use union at the center of the interval notation. So, that is the final answer.